All right, I'm starting the live stream. I've seen your face around these parts before. We get our fair bit of traffic, but I make a point of knowing who's who. What brings you around? Ah, then you'll be wanting to see me. Name's Reco. I see to the boring, fizzly bits for most of the miners work in the area. Big site claims, equipment orders, or transfers and the like. For most jobs, the terminal will set you up. But if you're after something with a bit of air on it, best to talk to me direct. If you'd like, I can see to setting you up with something now. Nothing too big, but it'll let us see how we feel about working together. Sound all right to you? Great. I'll take a scan through now. I need someone to take care of this shipment for me. Uploading the contract to you now. Have a look, see if it's right for you. Keep your wits about you. You're here.
I want to check in the trade route, so it looks like we can, um, we can't send anything there to Benson Mining, but we can go there, buy chlorine in return. But we can only buy 30 SCU because we only have 4,000 credits. Oh, 30 SU, the 600 I has 40. There, she'll be waiting for you in the hangar. Please try again later. Or select a different ship. My right, hangar 2.
Hey Tim. Hey Dominic, how's it going? Good, how are you? Doing great. Are you in PTU or PU tonight? I'm in the uh, the PU right now, but uh, if you want to do some PTU, that'd be awesome. I'm doing right now, okay. I'm doing a little stream of uh, a Reco mission. Ah, okay. Hey, you're welcome to join up, and then if you want, we can jump on the PTU. Yeah, sure. Oh yeah, I've been meaning to ask you too, are you interested in doing the cargo operation when 3.4 um, live hits? Time permitting? Sure. Yeah, yeah. I'll have to fly somebody else's caterpillar or my escort or something, right? Yeah, that's fine with me. Yeah, I'm on holidays from Friday. Drive. Oh, so from Friday on Friday you're off or after Friday? Uh, I'm off on Friday until the 2nd of January. I I kind of have, yeah, I almost have the same schedule too, except, well, yeah, I get off. So, after, yeah, Friday, my last day, too, until, yeah, January 2nd. Nice. Is it the 2nd? January 2nd. No, I, well, yeah, I go back to work. Yeah, it's going to be really busy in January. I have to, uh, I just ordered $190,000 worth of computers. Well, that, that must be pretty awesome, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, it just represents a lot of work. That's 96 computers. Do you, do you get to set all the computers up, or? Oh, the server's full. Um, yeah. Oh, dang. Well, it's, it, yeah, so new computers to replace for computer labs. Um, and then I've got a bunch of others that need pulling out and moving around. So, yeah, it's going to be pretty busy. Rich underscore bank said, oh. John Sarge said, dick. LDIO said, rich banks. Yeah, I can't exactly join you because the server's full. Okay, okay. I'll get off and then switch. I just want to finish this mission real quick. Yeah, yeah, that's fine.
got quite the uh, the crew growing on this. So. Yeah, I think we're going to have a pretty good op going on here soon. That's the plan anyways, yeah. Landing gear. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's been pretty good. Uh, the thing is, we're still looking for a few people to sign up to help out with the ops, so yours is definitely going to help. Uh, Oh, oh yeah, how much are you going to sign up for the op then? As far as like credits that you want to invest, like at starting money, um, like 5,000 credits or uh, something like that. I, well, that's all I'll have to... Yeah, sure, sure. The, the idea is, right, if you, whatever you invest, right, you'll get a return on investment. Yeah, well, I, I've got nothing to spend it on, so... I'll... I'll I'm all... Yeah, that'd be awesome. I'll add your name to the list, and then we'll get uh, get doing that. So, so you're probably gonna do escort or caterpillar caterpillar pilot, right? Yeah, whatever's required. Yeah, that's kind of our option. We got uh, yeah, cat owners and escorts and. Yeah, pilots. Uh, turret gunners too might be another good option. If we have enough people, because um, I'm a subscriber, I've got the hammerhead this month. Oh yeah, definitely. We should, yeah, we should use that if we can. That's all December, right? That's right. Yeah, we'll definitely so use that if we can, yeah. Other than Widow, what's uh, what's good to try? Um, well, it really depends on the amount of Alpha USC you have. Well, I currently have 39,720. And I've got a ship that can hold 40 SCU. Okay, yeah, awesome. So, any recommendations? Other than Widow? Yeah, let me, let me run this real quick. Oh, I just failed it. <laughs> I think I just failed the ore mission that I was doing because I, I put the box down. Oh, sorry. That's alright. Ah! <laughs> Yeah, let me check the prices here. So you said 40 SEU, 39,000 Alpha UEC. And we basically we want to avoid jump town. Well, so so you could right now you could go to um, one of the moons at Hurston and like do some commodities, or if you want to stay near Port Alistar, are you are you just looking for profit per minute or what? I just whatever's in uh, whatever's in the Crusader system. Oh, okay. That has yep. a relatively good return on investment. I was thinking I'm just about to do a run of the Grecium from Art Corp on day. Okay. Um. Because that's usually not too bad. So Grecium, you're gonna get Yeah, you'll make about two thousand two hundred profit. 
that run. That's not bad. Yeah. But yeah, let me just eliminate the moons around her. Okay, well, okay, it's saying uh, you could do medical supplies from Dakin's research outpost to Crew L5. Crew L5? That seems like an interesting weird place to go. See, the Crew L5 is... Okay, kinda... If look at the star map, it's... Not, it's like between... Kirsten and uh, Crusader. Yeah, it's a fair way out. Yeah. Quite, right. quite a ways out. What's the return on that one? Well, it says 2,526, so it's just a little bit more than the Grecium. I'm not, I'm not sure if that's worth it. Nah, not really. I wonder if we can wait to go to Crew L2 with that. Shot. Oh, that's what I get for not paying attention. <laughs> dang it. Oh, dang. So, yeah, some yeah, guy just ran focus, here and shot me. Focus on your, focus on your missions. Not I've, on already, I've already lost two missions. <laughs> I've already lost two missions. <laughs> that's a funny, funny thing. <laughs> wow. <laughs> See, this is, what, this is what always happens. I always get distracted and then. Yeah, I just lost two missions and all my credits at the same time. <laughs> oh, dude. That's funny. Because I was just doing the Rekka one. Yeah. And then, uh... Yeah, I was just, you know, and then I put the ore down <laughs> and then uh, lost that. And then and I was looking up the trade routes and then a guy comes in and just shoots me. <laughs> that was funny. All right, well, so I guess it's time to go do some jump down stuff. Get out of this bed. Well, yeah, actually, yeah, let's meet up with you. You wanted to do the PTU anyways? Uh, I don't mind. Um, I'm almost at this. Uh, Is the hawk on there? Arc hawk. So let me just load up and head back to Port Ali and sell it, and I'll. That's too bad. Ah, that's just funny. <laughs> I just try. Yeah, this happens every time I try to do a simple mission. It just like doesn't work. We gotta find out where that admin's supposed to be at. 
At Levski, right? Y you know, the guy that uh, does the ship stuff? It just seems like he like walks around like by the elevators or something like that. But he's not actually in Levski, right? You just see him when... Like, the, the guy when you're coming... The ATC guy? You know, you're coming in to land a Levski and he's like, Okay, you're free to land. Oh, I always find clones of him in the hangar. Oh, in the hangar? Yeah. Maybe he's in the hangar, then. But there, it's like, there's usually multiple copies of him. Okay, fully loaded with the Gracie. Let's see if we find out that route, anyways. Uh, so we did medical supplies, crew all five. We don't want to go to crew all five, though. So crew L1 is... Where is crew L1? Oh, L5, or crew L2. Is there not a crew L1? <clears throat> Yeah, there's not a crew L1. I don't know why that shouldn't be on there, right? Crew L2. Let's right back. Well, so the next question is really do you want to run medical supplies or not? Because medical supplies are pretty good, but you have to sell them in limiting quantities, right? So they're kind of a pain to sell. Yeah. But it's kind of saying that that's kind of the best thing for you to buy um, based on – because they're a little bit cheaper than a greasy, I'm right? So it mean, means you can buy more product, but their the profit per um, you know, unit is pretty good. Yeah, uh, no, I'll just stick, – I'll stick to normal um... – Things I can sell in one. Okay, so anything that doesn't have limited quantities, right? Yeah. Yeah, so if we take out, let's just take off medical supplies. Okay. 
Okay, so now, so yeah, so now it's actually saying titanium is better. Interesting. Trial Myers the portal. Okay. Really, even with forty SDs, that's saying you can make two thousand two hundred profit. Versus, how much are we say we're making with the reasoning? Just about two thousand. Well, there you go. So I guess that's titanium. It's a pretty fast. I think what it is, it's a fast run. Is it? Um, you're making two thousand two hundred every, every probably ten minutes. So this should be the guy with the dreadlocks. He has like red dreadlocks. But this guy in the hangar has black dreadlocks. Oh, really? I think they have the same face. Look. Why do you need to find him? Just curious, you know, because like he calls you, but then he's not actually in Lesky. Oh, so do I not have a crime stat anymore then? That's interesting. Yeah, that's kind of silly. It's like, I guess you always have to be in PvP mode, right? As you get, if, as soon as you're not in PvP mode, you basically get killed. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. funny. Yeah, the funny, I guess, yeah, I shouldn't have just been standing there. I guess I wasn't thinking I was in a non arm. No. It's too bad, really. It's, right. it's kind of like one of those things, like, if you don't want to get killed, you. you could just run away, right, or something like that. But you can't really, you don't really have that option. Yeah.
Cool. So, uh, titanium from where did you say? Titanium from Tram and Myers to oh. Port Alzar. And that's on yellow? Oh, Tram and Myers is on Sillen. I guess, yeah, you okay. could also go to Grimhex or Leftscape if you want to, but Port Alzar is going to be fastest. So I'm up to 41,000. Nice. Hey, you're the you're the rich one today because I've I've literally won Alpha USD on this account. Oh man! <laughs> yeah, I just lost it all because because uh, that silly thing. <laughs> That's what happens. You don't pay attention for like five seconds, and you you lose it all. It's all right though. It's it's more of a. Is the more of a lesson learned than anything. But it doesn't really matter though. Credits, credits are kind of like pointless in the game. It's more of you, you just have to understand, I guess, how to make them. Right? If you really want to earn credits, you can do it. You can do it fast too. But, uh, yeah. Even if you start from scratch, right? Well, it seems like people don't necessarily understand that. Although I don't know, from one alpha UE might be a little bit difficult. No, it's it's easy. It doesn't even matter what. Oh, that's right. You just do a few missions. Never mind. Yeah, you do a few missions, or you do some uh, mining. You know, either way, you're gonna make. I, the, I, the trick though is too is you have to have the right ships, which is kind of a pain. Like so, because you know to buy a prospector is pretty expensive. You either have to pay for it in real money, or you have to, um, uh, you know, get it in the game. It should be kind of nice, right? To just have just get those ships for everybody. I mean, yeah, if you yeah. if you gave everybody a prospector and a cut list, there's no way they could run out of money. I think with those two ships. I think I might head to Levski. Do you want to meet up or, or what? Uh, honestly, don't mind. Um, I've got a, a person. Quantum drive. A person who? Uh, just a random in game. He wanted to have a ride on the hammer. Oh, okay, sweet. So where are you at now? You're at Levski, or? Uh, I'm just I'm just leaving Port Oliver. Oh, I'll so just meet up with you. If you if you're gonna switch in, join and I'll PTU add you to the party. Or... Okay, yeah. P P P U. The P U. I don't have any ships in the P T U. So is the Hawk in the P T U? It says it is, but. I was like looking earlier and it wasn't in there. I signed on yesterday and all the ships had disappeared. Is that right? Maybe I have to, maybe I have to recall my account or something. Possibly. Awesome. Yeah, I'm just right here at all Port All Star now. Oh, okay. Hang on a sec. I'll just I'll jump on your hammerhead, around. I guess. If you're... Yeah, I'll turn around. Pick you up. Hang on a sec. Wait. Which strat are you on? I just landing now, so not on a strat.
I'll just land here on. Well, just let me know what clip I'll see you when you come in, I guess. Did you join my instance there? Oh, oh, sorry. I thought you joined my instance. I guess we were we we're, must be on different. No, no, I, I, I couldn't because you. Uh, oh, yours. okay. So let me I, log I off and then I'll log I, off. I okay, you. Yeah. Make sure I reset my spawn point at all, sir. <laughs> right. Landing complete. Have a pleasant stay. Oh, great. Okay, I can join your server. Forty-six out of fifty. I'll be on Delta Street. Oh, correction, Alpha Strut. Okay. Alright, you're spawning in now. Let's see. Drop on. Okay, I'm on Charlie Strip. Should see me coming into life. Yeah. On Charlie. On Alpha. Alpha. Alpha zero zero. Yeah. All right. Exterior open. Yeah, I see the ship now. Actually, did you just power down the engines, or? Yeah, I did. Oh, those things are loud. Oh, it sucks. I could clear. I could hear them clear over. Which completely defies the laws of physics. Yeah, that totally does it. <laughs> because. I mean, you probably. I mean, if the ship was big enough, right? You probably should be able to feel it through the. Base station, right? But if you're just floating in space, I gotta hear. Oh, if you're floating in space, you should there should be nothing. Yeah. Yes, but I guess what it could do though is like, well, let's say if your suit has like sensors, the advanced sensors. So what it does is it like scans for those things, and then basically instead of like saying like, oh, the ship is shutting down, it basically plays the audio thing. I guess it could happen. Your space is so advanced that it basically makes it imitate sound. Maybe? That'd be kind of cool. I'm just trying to find where this guy has disappeared to on my ship. Alright, I'm on board. I'll find him. Or just uh, close the... Did you already have a party going? No, I didn't invite him to the. Party. I'll send so you. He couldn't. A... He couldn't exactly do it. Okay, I'm on the elevator. Just uh, close the steering wheel. 
Oh, wait, somebody just jumped out. Is this Rufus here? Yeah, Rufus was the one on the ship. I don't know. I don't think this guy was on the ship. I think he just, like, just EVA'd here on the platform. Well, if that's Rufus, then... Rufus is the one that was on the ship. Okay, all right. All right, so where are you? Uh, just on the elevator, waiting to go up. Copy that. I'm just hopping in the pilot seat. I'll recall for you. Oh, sweet. Oh, we're in the same party now. Yeah, you invited me. Yeah, yeah. I know, it's just good to see the party working. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. I'm just surprised. Yeah, and I can see. Could you see my player beacon too? Uh, I could when before I hopped in the pilots. Now I'm facing away from you. Okay, cool. Okay. Uh, prepare for take. All right, I'll, I'll just clear the ship to see if anyone else is on board. could actually hide in the toilet. <laughs> you could hide on the toilet. Uh, we have a problem. What's wrong? That whole co-pilot issue? Yeah. Oh. Where? I oh, can't activate content. Oh, you can't activate. Uh. If I get in the coast pilot seat, does that fix it? Or if you leave the seat? So I can I can turn on the quantum drive, but I can't actually target it. Oh wait, never mind. I'm an idiot. No, it's because I'm targeted on Levski. Oh, okay. Trying to set course for the and, and then it's like, why am I not getting any targets? All right, there we go. Nice. I really hope when they bring in the new flight model that it um, properly aligns all of the all so the points or whatever. Yeah, so you know how you get the circle when you go to quantum, but it's it's always off under weird. Yeah, off set. Yeah, exactly. Like it's like everything's off. Like the cursor's off. The uh, 
part of things in half. Alright, looks like the ship's all clear. Excellent. It's a big ship though. <laughs> yeah, plenty of places to hide. Bridge is clear. Aegis combat assist activated. What mission are we on now? Sorry? Or what are we doing now? I forgot. We're heading to Tram and Myers to pick up a load of titanium. Oh, okay. Where did you suggest to sell? I just poured all star. You know? How much money can we make with the caterpillar? A heck of a lot more than you can with a hammerhead, that's for sure. Okay, yeah, so actually, yeah, we had a hammer, a caterpillar, we could make 5,000 profit, 5,725 profit. Depending on how much, is that, is that with credits to start? Well, that, yeah, that's 39,000 credits to start. Actually, you only need, I think, 20,000. Basically, that's just buying iodine and our corp mining and selling it taken. That's not too bad. That's pretty good if you. Yeah, we could almost do that if you wanted to do that. So, iodine from here and then selling it at day. Or oh, were you on our corp mining 157? No, where it's uh, Tram and Myers. Okay. No, Tram and Myers is titanium uh, layer. No, it, it, it is, this will be all in a different route, saying, basic. oh man, nice crash there. Man, this thing's built tough. <laughs> <laughs> built tough. How about it? Could smash it into a moon. It doesn't even do anything. How's that? Yeah, it's not even like red or damage state or anything. No problem, guys, we got this. Well, almost. I'm just trying to realign with the <laughs> planet <laughs> surface. I'm seeing like a weird green thing over there. Planet. Where? That must be like some sort of weird like beacon thing. It just doesn't actually show up, it's just like... That's weird. Landing gear, retract. A ghost in the system. I've completely lost Tram and Myers. It looks like just down there to the left of you. Yeah, you keep turning. And then go down right there. there. Oh, there it is. There it is. We only overshot it slightly. Oh, well, that's not too bad. Yeah, it was not bad at all. Yeah, get in the habit of parking close to the front door, that way you don't have to run that far.
Perfect. Okay. Then you just run in there, buy the cargo, and I'll scan for content. No worries. I'll pop the power to shield. Kind of laugh at some of the some of the character names people come up with. So like on your server, you've got edible crab. Yeah. And then in in game at the moment, there's someone called Snazzy Shirt. Yeah, Snazzy Shirt. That's nice. So you can't overclock the shields on this one either, can you? Really? I thought you could. That's for sure. I wonder if maybe if you overclock the power plants. Possibly. You can't do that. Shields offline. Aegis combat assist activated. Systems green. Titanium. Because we can't. Where did you say iodine? Yeah, iodine is at Arcorp Mining 157. That's on Yela, I think, uh, right? Right, okay. Oh, well, I can completely fill up with titanium here anyway. Yeah, you can't. No. Well, it's 40, so you should be able to. Why is overclocking one shield not doing it? Shields offline. Aegis combat assist activated. Systems green. So I guess all you can do is overclock the... Oop. Are you on board? Yeah, ready to go. Engines offline. Engines online. Offline. Engines online. Landing gear retracted. Yeah, so I'll give you another option too if you want it. What we could do is swap out for the Caterpillar. You could transfer the credits and we could run the Iodine. And then I'll just transfer you all the credits when we're done. Yeah, sure. What time is it? Or 5.42? Yep. We could just see how much money we can make you in like an hour or whatever. Sure. So why did you change the channel to be compulsory push to
Oh, is it compulsory push to talk? Yeah. Oh no, I must. Let me change that back. Which way is better, pull, push to talk or not? Probably just not, right? Um, it depends. See, I I have um. I use the push to mute button. Um, and I have that map to the push to talk button within Star Citizen. So when I'm, if, if VoIP is working inside in game, um, it, I can mute that while, sorry, I can activate that while muting. Okay, so what it says is says members must use push to talk to in this channel if this permission is disallowed. So it's like disallowed. So there's yeah. So basically, it automatically mutes you if you have push to talk turned up. Yeah, I think it default puts it on that it puts it on um off. It wasn't like that before. You it's changed. Yeah, basically, I've been playing around with the settings. I've created now um, a member list, right? So just specific for the op, right? So we have everybody's kind of invited to. I thought I did it on purpose. No, I, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm basically I'm just messing around, John. Uh, basically, so, so yeah, I'm trying to make it so there's members, just so we can figure out who's actually invested into the operation and who's not, just so I can filter it. Okay, but the push to talk bit is, um, you don't need to turn that on. Yeah, it should be off now, right? Okay, well, I, I need to land before I can fiddle. Because you, oh, you had to change your Discord settings in order to talk, right? That's right. Okay. Should be good now. Yeah, so I think what happened is when I added the member channel, basically it made it default as push to talk. It just seems weird that that's all. I'll, I'll figure it out eventually and then get Reminds you, I'll check, I'll check my spreadsheet here for the operation, right? So we'll put you down so you can be a pilot or a turret gunner or an S. So I'll confirm 5,000. You're going to invest 5,000. I mean, you don't have to invest, but I'll, I will have 5,000 to invest. Is the point okay? I'll, I'll just put it down for 5,000. Change. Oh, you can always change it later. Yeah, I'll put you down as a pilot too. That would. Well, you could see it could be pilot or S. Am I stuck in this chair now? That's weird. Oh, well, I, I only powered down the ship. I mean, I didn't power down the ship. I powered down the engines, but... I, I think, think I think I powered down the ship. Uh, yeah, I powered down the ship. Right. I was trying to see if that would help me get out of the chair. Looks like I'm stuck, but that's weird, because I didn't even respawn here, either. It just basically got me stuck here. Yeah, I completely stuck. Dang. Oh yeah, one last thing for the operation I forgot to say. So basically, if you're if you're interested in the operation, you just gotta coordinate with um, Sabian or Rich underscore Banks. Yep. 
he's going to be the contact for the mission. So just say like, hey, I want to be a pilot slash. Um, escort. Actually, I could just take. Yeah. I'll just have you do that. That the way you're kind of you know who to get in contact with. Because you know I have a kind of a weird place. I'll I'll be on at the same time that I'm normally on. But uh, yeah, well that's that's pretty much the only times I'm available. Yeah, so that but works. We, do we don't know. We yeah. don't know when three point four is actually dropping, though, do we? No, we don't. Uh, people are guessing it's the twentieth, but again, we don't know. I, so I'm thinking it's probably sometime this week. Yeah, I don't they, imagine it'll be too far away. Yeah, they basically have until the twentieth. I'm thinking so. Yeah. What's special about twentieth? Uh, basically, the twentieth, I think, is the last day. Sweet. Well, I know what I can do. I can land Sweet. illegally, and that will force just on the ship. You could do that, or I could just call my um, Avengers home. Yeah, do that, do that too. Although, if you're... Are you flying it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, calling my Avenger Titan is not going to do anything unless you're... Yeah, that's true, that's right. This... <laughs> I got this. Alright. Okay. Maybe it will let me. Initiating yeah. ship storage procedure. For your safety, please vacate yeah. the area. Thank you for your cooperation. Can you even commit suicide in the pilot chair? Um, well, that will destroy the ship. Won't it? Oh, no, no, that's. Huh? Yeah, yeah, it will. It'll oh, activate. I guess I could, yeah, I could fly up and then uh, activate self destruction. I'd prefer if you didn't. How about, how about you just, uh... <laughs> no, I think we're, I think, I think this will work. Obstructing landing area. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, that works. Nice. Did I get a crime stat? Did you get a crime stat? Okay, I got a crime stat, but... Uh, you, okay. Okay, okay, great. Alright, so I better go and join you on your strat. Alright, so my strat is gonna be... Your ship has I been to delivered to the are. following landing pad. Okay. Alpha strap. Wait. Alpha zero zero. Oh. There's Caterpillar already. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, so can we buy medical supplies here and go there? Um, I would need to send you credits first. Are there any docking collars or anything on this ship? Dorsally. There is a docking collar on the top, but it doesn't work. That's annoying. Yes, it is. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm currently sitting on top of the ship at the docking hatch, and I can't release it. Um Yeah, we can't run medical supplies for a profit of 2421. Do you want that? We we'll probably sell that too. It's only 2350 units. It's up to you, or we can just go right to tram, not tram. Hardcore mining one five seven. So, what would you like to do? Create a bacon. Oh, 
Oh no. If we I don't think the beacon works if I have a level one connection, does it? Or is it just level three connection? So just you could try it, try it real quick. Because I, I know it doesn't work if you have a crime stat, but I'm not sure if it's like a level one crime stat or three. That was for worth testing anyway. Oh, sorry. I just <laughs> I was in the habit of pushing to talk. Um, which, which Arc Corp is it? Um, Arc Corp, or one mining 157, yeah. 157. Oh, you're gonna tra do a transport. Well, okay, let's see if yeah. the beacon works. Alright, I'm gonna send you all my credits. Okay. So, in three, two, one. Beacon set. Oh yeah, that worked. Wait, okay. So, level and crime stat has no effect on anything. Okay, great. Yeah, it shouldn't, shouldn't do. I think it maybe, maybe affects the missions you can get, right? Illegal parking is kind of a silly crime set anyway. Yeah, it is a little. Wait, so the question, so do we want to buy medical supplies or not? Um, Hello and welcome aboard I think no, we'll, we'll stick with iodine. Alright, let's do it. Online. Launch complete. You like to overclock that, uh, you like to overclock the quantum drive? So it spools a little faster? I've never tried it. It works pretty good. Quantum drive is now off. Engines offline. Engines online. Of course, too, when you're trading, every little bit counts, right? Yeah, that's right. Quantum drive is now off. Well, this is kind of nice with the beacon because now, uh, you know, I just have a nice little beacon right there. Wait, where's the? Oh, that's right. I have to go up. Don't I? Okay. Oh yeah, I should double check these prices with you. So what I'm planning for payouts for crew on the um, mission, right? So this is figuring we have one caterpillar running, a full load of it's like a greasium, right? We have here. So we've basically earned three million um, credits. But the pale for escorts and crew members, this is assuming we have like um, one pilot in every caterpillar with four caterpillars, you know, two turret gunners in every caterpillar, and two escorts. Yep. This has a crew of 20 people, 20 extra people, plus the four catapult owners. So the payout is basically, it'd be like, so since you invested 5,000, you get 10,000. I'm just not sure if that's worth it. So, and then and the amount of time would be, that would be, um, uh, I guess you'd only have to do, I'm not, I guess I'm not sure with all that crew, right? If you do like, um, like just one hour or something, but the point is it would take about uh, 15 hours to do that. I don't know if that's worth it. 
I mean, because we could the way we could do we could do like shifts, right? So like since we have so much, we have twenty crew doing escorts and such. Uh, we could work it out. So you know, you're doing uh, an hour. I guess twenty crew essentially four um, shifts. Okay, so that'd be about approximately like a four-hour shift. So if you did a four-hour shift and earn ten thousand credits, that's not that's not enough, right? Or would that be good? For four hours, that's a reasonably heavy investment. Yeah, that, that's. A... How much credits do you think you'd expect to earn? I guess if you worked uh, an hour or something. Um. I would say, well, it's a hard one. Um, twenty percent per load. Do oh, twenty percent for escorts, though, pilots and everything. Uh, I guess it depends. Landing gear. So if you invested your own credits, yeah. So in this then... case, you invested five thousand credits, and you're making ten thousand three hundred after four hours. That doesn't seem very good, right? I would, I would make it whatever, whatever profit, whatever percentage you um, contributed. you get that percentage of the profits plus 20% for flying escort. Yeah, that's bas that's basically how I have it set up. I just have different percentages. Um, yeah, but I can change it. I've made it so I can change the percentages, right? So that's why I'm asking. Let's try 20% for escort. Let me land the ship. <laughs> yeah, I'd say I'd say twenty percent for escort, ten percent for turret. Because if you're flying escort, you've got your own. Um... Did you get the credits? You should. Oh yeah, I got the credits. Nice. Yeah. Um... Yeah, because if you're flying escort, you're risking your own ship. Whereas if you're flying um, as a turret, you, you're not really risking anything. Okay, yeah, I kind of have the escorts and crew grouped together, but you're saying maybe I should separate those two out. Yeah, that's true, because if you're flying around oh, a I'm ship as an escort, right, you have weapons, potentially hard points that you can lose. Yeah, because you, you're, you're risking more. Yeah. So you you could get you would get a higher percentage, or if you I mean if you want to make it more worth people's while, um, you maybe make allocate thirty percent to escort, twenty percent to gunner. Yeah, I think okay. Let's well let's just try. So if we do escorts, you said twenty percent for escort. Well, I have another thing going on here. Uh, basically, I'm trying to make it so. Um, I have like a, a fixed amount of capital that we have to retain in order to stay in business. And I think so yeah. I have so that, and that's just to fill the full caterpillar, right? I right, buying iodine for point three four. You can buy um, who, yeah, four, who, whoever four. owns the caterpillar. Yeah. Um you should Ideally, um, never commit more than fifty percent of your um, your load, or just to make your, it safe. Yeah, of your balance, whatever it is. So we're only working with fifty percent, right? Yeah, so that kind of gives you two chances so, so, to mess up, right? So if you, so you, yeah, yeah, that's right. So well, not even two chances. It, I guess I'll give you. So more, if you've right? got, you got two hundred thousand credits, for example, yeah. you would never um, spend more than a hundred thousand. Yeah. 
because if you if you lose half of that, then the next time you go to invest, then you don't spend more than fifty thousand. Yeah. Because the the idea is it, it gives you enough to to make it back fairly quickly. Yeah, so I should add. I'll need to add some roots then to to do the fifty thousand roots. Maybe twenty five. Well, actually, twenty five would be iodine. That's pretty easy. I wonder. Fifty thousand. I don't know if that's fluorine or. I'll see if there's a better. Actually, I guess we're, we're almost at fifty. It must be iodine. Must be. So we'll do iodine fluorine. Because yeah, this is this what we're doing is probably a uh, fifty thousand root. All right, so we're gonna go to Dakin's research out. Landing gear up. Yeah, I like that. So yeah, so we'll separate escorts and crew members. They they should make different amounts. Uh, yeah, fifty percent sounds pretty good. Okay, well, I guess you could kind of leave that up to the traders too, if you wanted, right? Because let's say, let's say I'm the trader, or you're, let's say you'll be the trader, Dominic, or whatever, vice versa. Or in this case, I'm the trader, so you yeah. gave me the money, so I'm risking. So you gave me forty thousand, right? But if I lose that, then you, you know you're not going to give me more. So I basically lost that much. So I, it'd be up to me to do fifty percent or or invest how much I want. Maybe we just say we recommend that you only use 50% of your capital, but yeah, yeah. Uh, but you yeah. can use it all, but you're not going to get more if you do lose it all. We'll just give you a base starting starting commission or whatever. Yeah. I can't. Yeah, I probably should change this too, so I just deduct the capital off the get go, right? So it's not even counted, and then you're just allowed it the uh, wages yeah, based so, on. So yeah. if I so if I contributed um, fifty percent, um, first of all, um, I get whatever I invested back plus fifty percent of the profit, and then as I'm playing gunner, whatever's left, I get ten percent of that. Yeah, that's basically how I have it set up. Uh, I just Quantum drives I want to change it a little bit because yeah, the, um, how I have it right now is yeah, you're exactly how you're saying right. So you get a certain percentage how you invested, uh, plus you get um, you know your um, yeah, plus whatever through contribution. So it's just kind of set up right weird because I have basically cargo haulers have twenty seven percent. Um, escorts have one percent, and that's crew and escorts that only make one percent, and then investors are making twenty-five percent. Okay, you could do it that way as well, I guess. Yeah. So it's so I was just kind of curious because that's only one percent, right? And then you but you still made ten thousand. So if I made bumped it out to like ten percent, let's say. I guess it depends on how you calculate it out. Because if, like, so okay, say you've got, um, if you invest, you you guaranteed a, a thirty percent um, return 
if there's any profit made, if you don't lose yep. it all. Um, so you get your investment back plus 30%. And then once that's taken out, then you calculate whatever is left over of that is what goes to escort and gunners. Oh yeah, so pay the investors first and then pay the escort. And then pay the the escort. escort and crew. Yeah. And so that way you can still pay them twenty or thirty or even a higher percentage, but of the whole but it's only of whatever's left after the investors have got their Yeah, the, whatever what they got in first. So so it's like uh yeah, you got your your Premiums. It's like uh, two layers. Yeah, exactly. Um, and so you, yeah, escorts and, and crew get a percentage of whatever's left over. Well, the thing too, I'm not sure if you feel the same way, but I feel like crew is kind of like I don't know if you, have to, I don't think you have to make as much, right? Because you're not risking as much. I, I guess the goal is to get more investors, right? So you want to get, yeah, I want to pay investors more, right? So like if you invest five thousand, yeah, you should make more than a person that just didn't invest anything. Hmm. Or I guess that's what I'm. Yeah. You you can grab a copy of this sheet too. I think it's on the operation page. Yeah. Because so if I'm above it, it's ten percent right. You would now make twenty three thousand. So for a four hour shift as a pilot, would that be fair? I don't know. I mean, that sounds better than what it was, but. Well, I, I don't think counting it as an hourly rate or anything is. Oh, is the right way to do it? I don't. I don't think there's is any point in doing it that way. I would. I would say just do it as a percentage of each, um, each run. Oh, I see. Yeah. And and leave it at that. Okay, so in this case, I guess I'll have to see how many runs it is, but it's quite a few runs. <clears throat> well, the hard thing too is is um, the difficult thing with counting runs is basically someone has to write it down. So if you're the cargo holder or whatever, you have to write down every time you do profit and record every single run, uh, which is is kind of a pain. Um, I think it had to. Basically, so every cargo has cargo has to write down every single time, and they miss one. I'm thinking it'd be easier, right? Is if you just record your beginning balance and ending balance, right? That way, you just record. You're, now you're just taking notes twice, whatever every run. Yeah. That's not. Good. But maybe we do. I mean. Cause to record isn't that difficult. Like you could just take a screenshot every run. Yeah. But it's still it's like one more thing. You know. I'm not sure if that's. I'm not sure if it's worth recording every single one, or every single run. I'm. Well, I think you're better off doing it that way because if um, if you're splitting up your your profit or calculating out your profit and and what have you, um. If you do it per run, then people can join in for a run or two. Yeah, yeah, and then and then they know exactly what they're getting, and then they disappear and somebody else comes or whatever. So you're not having to try to calculate it out after the fact. Yeah, that's true. And then give it then. Well, uh, the way I'm thinking about it too, let's say we have 20 people signed up as escorts. Um, I'm thinking uh, doing the same thing. What you're saying, right, is have it just have them come and they do one or two runs or what. But instead of saying calculating the run and or how the amount you earn per run, you could just do uh, uh, just say like, okay, I only did two runs. So you're just recording the number of runs that each escort pilot did, and that'd be something pilots could do themselves. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. So so if I if I'm the escort and I'm running a run, I just I'm just recording the number of runs I ran. If that makes sense. But yeah, maybe we do do a screenshot.
think we can buy, yeah, we can buy medical supplies here and go back. We want to do that. Only 2,400 profit. Should we do that or, yeah? So what are we going to buy? Iodine here? So we just sold iodine. So now we have, now oh, you have 49,000 credit. Yeah, let's yeah, try. I mean, if if you want to, it's worth it. <coughs> yeah, let's do it. Should it should be at the hunt. Yeah, so maybe we'll just do that. Yeah, John's agreeing too. He says a screenshot would be easiest, being able to run. So yeah, you just take a screenshot every time. All right, you ready to take off? Uh, yeah, just raising the elevator now. Oops. All right, I'm on, I'm on board. Take off. Well, so you you've earned quite a bit of credits, right? Because you started out with just five thousand, and you've already so you already got. 40,000 awesome. 50,000 now I guess yeah well that was from uh, assisting you with a couple of runs and then doing a few myself with various ships yeah yeah see that's the kind of idea we're trying to do make sure all of the uh, all of our crew members get really good pay wait so I'm not seeing the medical supplies on board. That's weird. Did I not buy them or? Well, it's only like 30. There's only 2,000 units. They must be down. Oh, yeah, they're in the front. Okay, I see them. I was like, oh man, where's the medical supplies? Nobody stole medical supplies. <laughs> it's not quite possible, though. It? Yeah, it's just basically. There's just, an, it's just like three rows, you know, four rows in the front. Bay here. That's it. Oops. Did I just launch a flare? No, I, I did. That was okay. my bad. I've something something's weird. My mouse is no longer pointing the ship. Why that is? I, I... Oh, I hit Z. Whatever oh, Z does. the free look. Zed's free look. Okay. <laughs> I was like, why is that not working now? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. John, yeah, John's got a good point. So basically. Take us. We'll just. We'll just have to do that. So every catapult, caterpillar, will just take a screenshot every time after they buy or sell a commodity, right? All right I guess what would you be after you sell it? So you get to a place, sell your commodity, take a screenshot, leave, go to the next um, terminal, buy it, sell it, take a screenshot. Oh, it'd be after whatever after you're selling. You're always well, before and after you think before and after you think John <clears throat> I don't know if I have to do after I know uh, what you do is there's a transaction page right basically when you're buying the goods like you say like you bought uh, 20,000 whatever medical supplies for this price that's that's the screen so that's going to tell us because it also will show the balance in the right point too so it'll record our balance how much we just spent and um, what was the unit price to do i i'll show you an example on the, the screen if you want we can sorry i just realized where are we selling these medical oh, supplies my, my bad we're supposed to go to our court mining 157 it's all right we can do that Oh, yeah, I didn't even tell you where to go. Sorry. 
I just had to support Ollie. That's alright. Um, it's back on Selen. Or Yell, I mean. Wherever we were just at. Man, that's fast calibration. Yeah, it's nice, right? It's uh, overclocked, right? Not per SCU, just per unit. Yeah, it'll tell you the total amount you spent, and then we could just calculate per unit. It'll say, because it'll basically say, you bought about this many units for this price. So. From that, we can deduct everything we need to do. So we'll just have to get in the habit of just taking a screenshot on that cell page. Yeah, so set a course for Argcorp Mining 157. Captain. Copy that. Course set. Engage and jump drive. Oh, yeah, so yeah, John's asking. So yeah, there is a list of prices for 3.4. Um, that is just that spreadsheet that um, they've been put there. I can I can post a link in it. Yeah, it's still showing showing the same CBD Lorville run. If, if that's in game when it goes live, that's probably going to be the most profitable thing. Well, I guess if you have a lot of credits. Twenty four point one. Yeah, exactly. It's twenty four point one one or it's like one one nine. You round which up is, as one. Which really is good. cheaper than twenty four point seven, which is at Art Corp on Demo. A uh, twenty-four point four five at at uh, our core. Oh, is it four five? Is it sorry? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's yeah. But, uh, and the sell price is twenty-five point eight five at Lorville, which is the highest price. So you have the lowest price and the highest price for Ethereum, right at Lorville. Just trading between the central business district and Lorville. So, but the thing is, it's actually not the most profitable at the lower income. So, let's say you start with a hundred thousand credits, you're actually going to make less profit per minute doing that run, even though you're just running back and forth. It's like, so for example, you're doing fluorine, or maybe we do even iodine. Actually, might be faster. I mean, of course, widow would be pretty fast if you could do just one load of widow. Because you really you need, uh, I I guess I haven't figured out exactly how much you need to make that run work, but essentially, well, I guess it's almost like 1.4 million. But the yeah, the cool thing about that is you can use as many ships as well. So my plan is right is earn if we earn enough money, or we could even start doing that right. I was thinking maybe I would just do that run, and then we have somebody else do the other runs. Because it's it's a uh, the cool thing about it is it's like super secure, right? So if you had one person doing that run, 
you could be creating credits so that way if a cat if you lose a caterpillar or not it's just it's just a dent it doesn't matter so how do you trade between um Louisville and the CBD uh really simple you just go to the CBD buy stuff it recognize your ships parked in the hangar and any hangar any ship stored you can basically fill up all the ships that are stored there at Louisville oh wow and then then you just run over to the Lorville admin. I guess the caveat is, is you have to store your ships at Lorville. Right? But there's no limit on how many ships you can store at a certain place. There you go. Alright, thank you. Very nice landing. Even though this landing pad is not really designed for the caterpillar. Managed to fit. Uh, can you close the steer? It seems like I can't close that from the outside. But yeah, John, I'm not sure if you're watching live stream or not. But I'll show you the buy sell. Well, I mean, I'll, I'll just post a picture of it in the Discord anyways. That's weird. What happened? I had to unlock the ship before I could close the exterior. Oh yeah, yeah that's that's kind of weird with the cat. I'm not sure if it's just a cat or all ships. But yeah, you have to unlock it before you can close it. If you're not the owner, well, you should be the owner technically because you're in the uh, same group as me. All right, I'm on the elevator. Do you take off as I'm on the elevator, or is there a chance that I'll glitch through? I wonder. There is... There is a chance. It's probably better to wait, just... To wait for the elevator just to go all the way up, and then... Yeah. Alright, let's go. <clears throat> so this is full of iodine now. Oh, we're headed back to... Yeah, we're headed back to Dakin's research outpost on... Okay. It's gonna have to be my last run. Yeah, that's fine with me. And then I'll drop you back at Port Ollie. Yeah, and then I'll just transfer the credit there. Or we'll do a or beacon. Whatever. Yeah, just do a transfer. Oh, yeah, I still have the landing gear down, it looks like. Oh, my bad. <laughs> no wonder we're not getting, getting anywhere. Oh yeah, so let me send you those pictures, you know? Did I, um... Did I send you this screenshot I took? Uh... Let me find it.
I liked this particular screenshot so much that I set it as my um, lock screen wallpaper on my computer at work. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Oh, it'd be nice to get one on, on Yela where you could get like the ring in the background too or something like that. Yeah. Actually, which is such a good looking chip though, isn't it? <laughs> He's almost the same one, but on Daima. It's almost like it's almost like the Daima. No, I like the angle of that that one. That's Selen, or is that no? That's yellow, isn't it? No, no, that's either Magda or Eta. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, Just the blue sky looks really cool. And here's one I took shortly after I started playing, when I got the Avenger. Oh. What? Apparently, this photo of the <laughs> one of my screenshots is deemed explicit. That's weird. Yeah, I noticed that too. I've even been trying to post things sometimes, and it won't let me post them. Try just renaming it, and then it will probably let. Yeah, R Corp uh, one five. No, where are you going to take? Oh, take it. Yeah, okay. Just have to find it. Looks like someone's on the other side of the planet. There it is. Oops. Oh yeah, so yeah, fifty thousand for the die die. Basically, this run we're doing here looks like looks like one of the best ones. We've got R Corp mine one five seven to Dakin. We actually do bake uh Benson mining to Dakin or R Corp mine one five seven to Dakin. The time's about the same on each of those. A little bit more for the hex though, because that's on another planet. So it didn't, didn't let you post the adventure piece. <laughs> I don't think yeah. I can change the settings there. It just says explicit content or something. Yeah. But it's basically the um the Avenger Titan sitting on Daima with the um Similar to that uh, 300i, it's a 600i shot, except it's got um, Crusader in the background. Oh, yeah, nice.
Yeah, it says you should be able to attach files and what if I have to check the file? Because it just leaves it as like neutral. Very nice landing there. Well, that one was automated. <laughs> oh, okay. This this pad is actually big enough for the caterpillar. Oh, well, nice. doesn't like it. I think it looks too much like flesh tanks. Yeah, I don't have many shots with um on yellow with the um rings. Oh, get one right. One. You could get one right here with the caterpillar, almost right. And I've got this one. There you go. Nice. Yeah, that's not a great shot though. The hammerhead one's a bit better. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, because you can see the ring and crusader in the background. Oh, we. I don't think we can really see crusader where. Yeah, Let me get on board, I'll transfer you the credits, and that's that's it then. one I just took. Oh nice. Oh yes, so I'll send you a beacon and then just have me uh, deliver here. Yeah, to Port Alizar? Oh yeah, we could do Port Alizar too.
Oh, that's cool. Okay, are you ready for a beacon? Yep. Okay, just spam left click. Uh, the left bracket, I mean. Okay, beacon sent. Oh, you, you accepted it. I did. Great. Awesome, yeah, and then I'll just take a ship from Balsar to SBK, clear my little tribe stat. Oh, good. Easy peasy. Peace. Actually, I found the crime stat doesn't seem to stick around very much. Yeah, it's true. If you but log off, yeah, if you, you log, log off, on, it'll yeah. just be gone. Oh, that's cool with the Nox in there. Is that that's in the um is that the Aquila? Yeah, the one in the Aquila, yeah. Aquila Are you sorry? is Latin, Latin for eagle. Oh. Yeah, so yeah, so was that a pretty good profit you just made, I guess, off of doing that? Um I guess I'll find out when I receive it. Oh okay, yeah. How, how much was it? Uh, 58,000. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. Considering I started with 41,000. Yeah, I mean, that's a pretty good gain. That's a very good gain. Okay. Plotting course to Port Alazar. Jumping in three, two, one. Don't in get interdicted anywhere near as much as it used to. 3.2. Yeah, it's true. It's definitely way down. Way, way down. You may want to top the fuel up on this before you go on your next trading run. We're down to 70%. Yeah, sure. Oh, actually, you lost all your money, didn't you? I can top it up. No, don't worry about it. I can just reclaim it as well. I know it's kind of silly, but... Oh, yeah, that's a good point. I'll just do like me. I'll do like a minor run or something. Like it's, it's like you need like a little bit of credits. Like you need like five thousand credits to play the game, but that's really all you need. Oh right, now you need like a little. You need like you need enough to buy one suit of armor and some weapons, right? Many pins, and then you need kind of five thousand after that. Or are you trying to do the auto land now? That's better. Oh, what what give me that one. Oh, the one way over there. Avengers still sitting on the pad there. Ooh, what happened there? 
has been completed at night. There we go. Oh. What happened? That's weird. Did you get it? Or? I don't know what happened. I think it... Did you not um, get it? It, uh, it removed my... Um, it revoked my privileges, even though I was in the middle of an auto land. Oh, okay, but you got the money transfer? Yeah, yeah, I got the money transfer. Yeah. Oh, well, oh, it said you're not allowed to... Oh, now you have a crime set now? <laughs> yeah, I've just got two. You got what two bars? Heck? got two bars with that? Yeah. That's weird. That's very odd. Never seen two bars. I don't think I've ever had two bars. Three or... or four. I guess it'd be that... four or one. It's the only... Hmm. Oh, well, I'm currently on two bars, which is a bit odd. <laughs> that is weird. Anyway, I need to go to bed. I'll, uh... Yeah, but thanks for that. That was good. I'll um, I'll catch you later. Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah. Your ship has been delivered to the following landing pad. Now here's a choice, do I, do I clear my crime stat, or do I just try to wreck as much havoc as possible? Or, I have to go. Quantum travel initiated. Friendly target. Quantum travel complete. This is where we need to push the talk, I say, J. Rose, you have been found guilty of committing crimes against the UAE and his people. Commit now or prepare for justice.
Chicago destroyed. The funny thing is, I didn't even get a crime stat for that, like that's not, how is that even fair? I should just see if I can find it from here. I don't even think I'm in the right direction.
oh no, I'm on a collision course with the planet, but I have no control of the ship because I'm stuck in the cursor mode. Rat. No! I have no control of anything. Why? Oh no. Oh, we didn't die, it's even worse. I'm just gonna have to quit this. All right, I guess that's the end of the session. We crash landed on a planet, with no control over anything. That's a pretty great episode, there, guys. Why is chat so buggy? Are we like stuck in? Oh, okay. Wait, there we go. Cursor mode used to be the right alt button, but it's not anymore. It says alt gr slash. Try that. Hmm. Alright, well, we'll work on that a wrap. Uh, thanks for guys for tuning in on the stream. Oh, hey, Sexton, thanks for tuning in. Unless you happen to know, how do you toggle cursor? Alright, well. Yeah, I'm wrapping this up. Uh, I just, it's just like a, I'm stuck in this cursor mode on this planet. I have no control over anything. It's kind of silly. I know I've done this glitch before, but I can't remember how I got out of it. Basically, I'm stuck in this cursor mode, as you can see. All I, I have is this little cursor waving around on the screen, but um, I can't actually do anything. Um, so, yeah. So like I can't access Moby Glass. I think it's like some kind of glitch where I'm in Moby Glass, but I'm not in Moby Glass.
All I have. No, it's like I'm stuck in the menu, but I'm not in. Yeah, it was exactly. It was right all before. Well, I think what it is, I think I'm stuck in the menu. Yeah, I'm like stuck in the menu, but there's no menu right here. Which is interesting. And I could be in the movie glass too, but I can't open the movie glass. If I like click on anything, it doesn't do anything. Oh, maybe the server's just down. I'll just, it's probably fine. I'll just call it quits, but thanks for tuning in. I'll see you around next time. If you want, you can subscribe. I, um, we just do a bunch of random stuff. We're actually trying to do a sweet cargo trading mission. So, uh, yeah, you're more than welcome to try with me. Cargo runs. Or no, Byron and Cutlass is the next, uh, as soon as the next patch hitch hits. Yeah, I'm calling that a wrap, so thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.